Hello friends, Pat here and today it's project time! Yes, I have gotten back to into doing projects. I'm really excited about this one. I saw uh, this picture on Facebook uh, from PLE, a great sponsor of mine who... Uh, a new chair is coming out and they've sent me that new chair. So that's going to be on this channel very soon. But before that, we're doing this project and we're going to build this lava lamp. Or rather, well, I guess PC cooling water loop lamp, you'd call it. So let's get into it. I haven't actually planned this out. I just saw the picture and I got super excited. So I grabbed all my leftover stuff from that uh, video that I made about building or rather rebuilding my water loop and getting rid of the uh, really bad stuff the, that was inside due to that uh, C1000 um, you know, liquid. I'm not going to go into too details about that in this video. So I've got some leftover parts and let's go through what I'm going to be doing again. I haven't planned this out. I kind of want to do it off the cuff. So I've kind of grabbed a few bits and pieces that are not really related to each other, but I'll explain in a way, and I think I got lucky with a few. So let's start with this. This is actually the holder for this blue microphone right here, and that's why I've got it out. I wanted to point to it, and so you can imagine that this sits and holds it like that, um, and you screw it in here. Now, I don't use this. I've got a little stand here, so this has kind of been lying around and taking up space for me, and I thought this would be the perfect thing to use as this lava lamp. Oh God, water cooling PC uh, lamp. Okay, let's call it the lamp, the water-cooled lamp, water-cooled lamp. So I thought, okay, well, see if I fits, and I have this spare XSPC pump right here. So I went, hang on, if I grab all the cables and slip it in, ho oh, and behold, it fits and actually looks like a lamp. Um, these side bits are hidden away, so we got to, we can put a screw straight through the back to give it more stabilization. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this epoxy, the epoxy adhesive, maxi strength, and I'm going to just epoxy just here, slip it on, put a screw through the back, and then have the cables out here. And I'm going to put a little bit of a nice sheath around them, hopefully, um, and that way I can plug it into power. Now, I don't think I'll need to power the pump necessarily, um, but the lights definitely. So this is the light and I'll definitely power that. Uh, I might actually undo it from this plug here and, and, and plug it in just to a little power source or a battery. Um, it's an LED at the end of the day, just needs to light up. And I'm gonna put blue color in here, blue colored water. It's not gonna be pumping anything, so it should be fine. So this looks actually pretty nice. So next things next, I need some fittings to put potentially a little pipe like this around it. I've got my heat gun, I'm gonna go through all that, so you're gonna get a bit of a montage of me heating this stuff and going through with it and actually putting it through. I haven't planned out how I'm gonna do it, but I was thinking maybe something kind of fancy, maybe even go around a loop and then come back in. So I'm thinking if I come out here, um, go out this way, follow it up around here maybe, one loop, two loop, and then come back down into the port here, so what we've got, we've got a port coming out here. And I think this is from memory, and this is the last time I did it. It doesn't really matter which one I do, I think, because I believe both of them are ins and outs. So if I unscrew this, oh God, this is not the easiest thing to unscrew. Okay, what do we've got? I wonder which one's the pump out. I think this is out, so I can actually block the middle one. And that should be all right. So I don't have many of these little plugs left, so I'm gonna be very careful with this one. I don't wanna break it or crack it or anything. All right, so we're gonna go from out, around, and back down into here. So the fittings we've got is a couple. I wanted to do it with silver ones, but I don't think I'll have enough. These are the leftover ones from the other project. Um, I also have leftover ones from the computer beforehand. These ones right here. So I'm gonna use both of them and uh, we'll see what happens, my friends. So guys, enjoy this little compilation and we're gonna get started. We're gonna start building this beast and I think it's gonna look really cool once it's done. I mean, it already looks like it's meant to be. Maybe I'll even spray paint this black uh, to give it that uh, really cool uh, blackness. But I kind of like the silver. I kind of think if I put silver fittings on, that, that'll fit really well. So let's see what we can manage with this. Now the idea that I originally had was not gonna work and I spent a lot of hours messing about with the pipes and breaking them and really wasting it a lot. So I had to kind of go back to the same idea that I saw in the image in the picture from PLE as Twitter or Facebook, wherever I saw it. 
and actually just make it a circular one. But in fact, I wanted to make it a little bit different. So it's not just a quick copy and it looks a little bit different. Absolutely does. And I try to make it go around, try to at least make it a little bit interesting. But instead I made a loop that goes out and has a 90 degree bend. Um, so as you can see, it's, it's kind of tough to actually bend that pipe and continuously bend it in a nice smooth fashion. So I suppose 90 degree angles and a little bit of uh, other bends is probably the best way way uh, to do it when you're doing it for your computer. If you're doing it for a project like this, it doesn't have to be perfect, but obviously um, the way I did it works best. I've managed to waste a lot of uh, other pipes to get it to this point, uh, but I managed to get it rather circular. And so I'm gonna try and fit it in so at least it's perpendicular to the pipe. So when I screw it on, it has no issue. And then as you will see, I'll be bending this a little bit back to make it go over or rather just straight on. So I'm gonna be sticking out to the front um, and this is the blue stuff that I'll be putting in there and then we'll do the adhesive in a moment and then we'll fill it up Hopefully plug it in and then see if it leaks or does anything strange So let's continue heating stuff All right So to make it a little bit unique is actually gonna be heating it while it's in there. It's all plugged in so um, I suppose that the whole thing is that while it's plugged in it's much better to know that it's gonna be a nice sealed uh, way so do not force it just heat it and heat it until it actually bends under its own little weight Maybe put a little bit of force. I mean just to make it quicker uh, But when I did I actually got it very uneven and it didn't come out quite correctly So I still had to spend a lot more time trying to get it right once I did get it right, I was able to do some of the cabling. And remember guys, uh, check on the internet how things work, but I used a 12 volt line with little spare clips that I was able to actually power the whole thing without needing to plug it into the computer. Okay, I think this is the best I could get it. It's not necessarily, um, I don't know, actually I, I like it. It's like a, like a hook, like a big jaw on it. And I think it'll look really cool with the blue liquid flowing through. And if I put it on here, you can see that it fits pretty darn nicely. Let me get it in the center, hopefully. Here we go. I think this is as central as I can get it. And it looks pretty darn cool as a table centerpiece. So let's um, let's actually get this stuck on. Um, I will put this stuff on it. So let's get started on this next step. Guys, if you're doing this with exactly the same stuff that I have, um, you're not gonna get to reuse it again. This stuff is uh, really, really strong. You don't even want to touch it with your hands. So be very, very, very careful with it. Um, now it doesn't take long to set. Uh, it does go clear, so you won't see it. Uh, it won't be this whitish uh, color here. Okay, the big screwy driver. I don't wanna break anything, so. And I'll take it to my computer and move the camera and we can actually turn it on and see if it doesn't leak, but. Uh. <laughs> Guys, check it out, I've done it. I've done a little lamp, it's gonna light up and you're gonna see the shots in a minute. I'm gonna go into a dark room. I'm gonna plug it into computer power for now. Uh, but guys, check it out. It came out really, really nicely. It's as simple as having a pump and a reservoir built in and you can make a pretty cool little pump slash lamp. If I just hide the cables behind it, it looks really, really sleek. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little project. Uh, thanks very much to PLE for posting that photo. To be honest, that, that was my, uh, I guess, inspiration for doing some of this. And for some strange reason, I managed to find the three parts that I really needed. So guys, thanks again. Check out more videos on my channel. Subscribe, like, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, 